to welcome all i hope everyone is doing great and in this video i'll be discussing about what all the different technologies we have to develop desktop applications and we'll also discuss about which one is better so i just simply search on internet desktop application development technologies and this website pops up so i believe that google is more smarter than us so there is no loss in believing results that google has given so simply open this well as per this website they have mentioned different technologies to develop desktop application to be very honest i don't know all these three technologies so as per them that these are the one of the best technologies some of them are using vb.net c++ language so i really don't know but i know how electron js java fx and qt language works so i have saw some of the applications designed in qt as well as java fx and electron js so i'm an electron js developer and i have one or two years of experience in developing electron js application so i can i can tell you much more about electron js talking about java fx when i was in the second year of college i was working on a java fx application development and i found out a couple of interesting thing in java fx but the problem with java fx is its memory as well as java is really slow language i mean believe it or not it it also makes applications quite slow so if you have any spe os specific requirement such as windows os or any linux os so in that case you can develop application in java fx or you can consider java fx but still uh, i would not suggest you to do development in java fx because still we have better other technologies better other options well i can clearly see here there are two major options there are two major competitors in the desktop application development game and one is electron js another one is qt well qt and electron js both provide interface or platform where you can design or develop your applications design and develop your cross platform desktop application which is really good thing because as a developer you don't want to write different code for each operating system so in that case if you have one code base and you just need to create different builds so that your work and management of different stuff becomes really easy so let's talk about electron js and qt qt is one of the best options we have but the problem with qt which i saw personally uh, it it creates problem with especially mac because mac os keeps on improving it also adding some features in new releases and it is becoming more secured and secured but if you are developing application in qt you are using c++ language and all the pointers you are using all the variables you are using you need to be really careful while using it because if that is not recommended by mac os so it will simply crash your application and you might be in trouble so QT is still good choice and it creates application with low RAM consumption and low file size. But still, uh, if you have to be more extra careful uh, while developing applications in QT. Well, if you talk about Electron JS, Electron JS is combination of Node JS and Chromium, where you can design and develop application in HTML and JavaScript itself. So it still it is. one of the best choice i would say because it provides you cross platform facility uh, it provide it gives you platform where you can design and develop application in cross platform and there are some of the famous application some of the popular application has been designed in electron js so like slack github and visual studio code so all these application gives you an assurity that this electron js technology has potential to create good applications so few days back i saw one video where people were in that video people are claiming that electron js is dying so let's have a look uh, is it really dying or is it still emerging technology 
well currently i'm on electronjs.org website and before we start with knowing more about electronjs as you can see and on, on the landing page itself they have given this big description and as per that description that's saying that it is cross platform desktop application development technology and one of the major important thing about electronjs is it is open source so you don't need to pay a penny for that so that is another good thing so as you can see they are, they have given three different releases this is uh, this is definitely the stable one and the middle one is more of middle one is in the beta phase and this last one is just started or you can say just started so yeah these are all three options you have in electron js um i will always recommend you to go with the latest stable release all right so if you look at this it seems quite promising let's go inside releases and as you can see here inside the releases the last version released just a week ago so people who are claiming that electron js is dying so they can simply see these releases and they can get i have i will recommend them to i will recommend them to come here and watch all these changes so that the misconception or misunderstanding that they have that electron is dying will get clear all right so if you see here this is not just the one release but every single release or alternate weeks you can see some version is releasing so that means development and community support is really good and in that context we can say that electron js is still good choice to use in create community support itself is not enough you just need you just need to consider before developing any digital application you need to you need to consider lot many other things like its support and its memory consumption ram consumption and which applications will be good applications to develop in in electron js and which are not so let's talk about that so the first thing about electron js is it is infamous for ram consumption because if you see people use chrome application but still chrome application has one demerit and that is nothing but it consumes a lot of memory and ram so it is because chrome use chromium inside which is an engine itself and it consumes a lot of memory well when we are talking about electron js we saw that electron electron js based on node js and chrome so again the chrome is there so that's reason why electron js consumes lot of uh, consumes lots of memory so well lots of means it will consume if you are if you are creating some student management system in your apply in application in windows and mac both it will hardly consume 2 to 300 of mbs of memory it depends on how you are managing your stuff and how you are writing your code but still by default it will consume more than 100 mb of ram so so that is the case you should consider before start developing application in electron js well let's talk about the app size well if you see electron js with qt if you compare electron js with qt application the same application you can design in qt in 20 mb size i mean i'm talking about final build not just a development build i'm talking about final actual production type of build and that build will be 20 mb where at the same time same code and same features electron js will create application of 60 to 80 mb because electron app holds electron package itself which it electron itself consumes 30 to 40 mb of memory so you cannot go below that it will certainly increase okay so that is again the negative point in electron js but apart from that as far as my information and as far as my experience 
Electron JS application is quite stable even if there are multiple releases in Mac OS still application we have designed uh, needs minimum changes to be compatible with the next version so that is the good thing about electron JS. but like i said before if you're using electron JS, if you're using qt application uh, in development if you're using qt technology for development um, it might create some problems in next version of a mac os uh, windows is not going to release any newer version so we are not going to talk about a windows operating system compatibility because there's high chances 80 to 90 percent of chances that your application will work in next patch of windows next uh, in windows we don't need to worry about that all right so well if you're using angular js or react js frameworks with electron js it helps you to maintain your ram or memory consumption uh, in in more professional way and you can reduce your ram and memory consumption so always try to use either angular js or react js with that i have seen that uh, some of the electron js boilerplates with react js they are creating less size of application which is really good thing so that will be again the additional part so yeah so you, you can consider you can surely consider that as well okay so i think that's it for this video we have just saw that uh, electron js is still emerging technology and it gives you stable environment where you can create desktop applications and also you can create not just you can create you can deploy that as well so notarization and other parts such as build creating you can use electron builder you can create multiple builds and distribute that and if you are using if you want to notarize it or code signing all those features easily available in electron JS. so all in all i can say electron JS gives you a very stable and ready to go in what type of environment where you can just simply put your code uh, you can just you just need to play around with html and javascript so and if you are if you want to go with electron js in 2021 so let me tell you electron js is still good choice so i hope this video might have helped you if it did then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and see you in the next video bye